very happy news, a Kensington Palace insider has confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant and has all but cleared her diary to ensure she rests as much as possible. The news comes after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. However, while everyone is excited for the couple, organizers for Prince Harry's upcoming Invitus Games are now scrambling to reorganize the event as they expect Meghan's planned appearance and tour of Australia will be cancelled in a matter of weeks. Unsurprisingly, Harry's full attendance at the event is also in doubt as New Idea has learned he's keen to spend as little time as possible away from his new wife and what is being described as a high-risk pregnancy. The palace is talking in riddles without stating the obvious, the source tells New Idea. But Meghan will pull out of the games and, more importantly, her first royal tour to Australia and New Zealand once they make the official announcement when she is given the three-month all-clear. The Duchess did have time to make one last public appearance, however. Joining her husband at a gala performance in London of the musical Hamilton, the 37-year-old was glowing in a black tuxedo mini-dress. Meghan has cancelled all her planned media appearances to support the Invitus Games, which takes place in Sydney from October 20-27. This has raised eyebrows at the ABC which, as host broadcaster, was promised an exclusive interview with the new royal. Kensington Palace is being very protective of Meghan. She was expected to play a big role to support the event, as it's her first as Harry's wife. But now everything's changed and no one's been given an official reason although they're all guessing correctly that a baby announcement isn't far off, explains the source. On August 20th, it was announced that David Beckham had signed up as an ambassador to the Invitus Games and will be present throughout the event. It's now understood the former sportsman is a last-minute backup to cover for Harry, whose presence will be significantly scaled back. ABC and Invitus have been informed Harry may not be at the closing ceremony due to personal reasons, so they need to be prepared for this. It's left them shell-shocked as he always opens and closes the games, adds the insider. Despite shying away from public appearances, Meghan has had a busy summer. She has given a lengthy interview to the team behind the new documentary series Queen of the World, about the role of Queen Elizabeth. She and Harry adopted a new puppy, thought to be a Labrador, and the former Suits star spent much of the UK summer visiting friends and no doubt sharing her baby news and gathering advice on her impending motherhood. After she and Harry visited Amal and George Clooney who are tipped to be the couple's first choice as godparents in Lake Como, Meghan took a solo trip to Toronto where she caught up with best friend Jessica Mulroney, then travelled on to Los Angeles to see her mother, Doria Ragland. Significantly, both Amal and Jessica have twins prompting speculation that Meghan is also having a multiple pregnancy. Amal gave birth at the Linda Wing of London St. Mary's Hospital where gynaecologist Guy Thorpe B. Eston is a consultant obstetrician. Guy, who specializes in high-risk births and multiple deliveries, helped deliver sister-in-law Kate's children, and will likely also work with Meghan. At 37 years old it's likely the Duchess will have considered fertility treatment. Dr. David Knight of Demeter Fertility agrees, saying, Megan is in the age group where reproductive help is most commonly sought. The age most women undergo IV treatment is around 36 and peak utilization is 39. After returning to the UK, Harry and Meghan spent five days in Scotland with Prince Charles and Camilla as well as visiting the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh at Balmoral Castle where it's thought the couple shared their happy news. Harry and Meghan have wanted children for a long time and they won't do anything to jeopardize this pregnancy, says the source. Meghan's been finding public appearances stressful, so it's only sensible Harry has insisted she pull back. Three months after exchanging vows in the globally watch wedding of the century, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are starting the next big chapter in their lives starting a family. Palace insiders have confirmed recent reports that the newlyweds are expecting twins, life and style reports. Adding to the excitement, friends close to the couple are buzzing that the Duchess is pregnant with two girls. 
They have been busy drawing up a list of baby names, only for girls, a source tells the U.S. publication. Harry is over the moon. He let it slip to pals that double trouble lies ahead, the insider dished, calling the twins miracle babies. Harry has never been happier. Meghan is thrilled to be pregnant, adds the source, noting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been visiting a fertility doctor. The pregnancy is in its early stages, but Meghan, 37, and Harry, 33, are already thinking ahead and narrowing down a list of names, life and style claims. Although the decision isn't final, Harry and Meghan have agreed for now that Diana and Elizabeth should be their baby's names, a source reveals. Kate Middleton and Prince William were among the first to learn of the pregnancy. As a mum of three, Kate is full of words of wisdom about what motherhood entails, says the source. She has been giving Meghan tips on what to eat and how to conceal her small bump. The source adds that Meghan is nervous about starting a family, while Harry is more worried about what happens when the girls grow up. Harry will be a protective father, says the source. Meanwhile, insiders also confirm the exciting news to the National Enquirer. It's amazing. Just incredible, a friend gushed to the Enquirer. But they won't announce for some time, or until the end of the first trimester, as is the American custom. Another insider reportedly told the U.S. publication, all the signs have been there for months now. It's wonderful news to be sure but it shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. The Enquirer's shocking report claims 36-year-old Meghan secretly visited fertility doctors before her May 19th wedding to Prince Harry, who is sixth in line to the British throne. Harry and Meghan wanted to get pregnant as quickly as possible after their wedding, a friend tells. They both know that as Meghan gets older, it can get increasingly harder to conceive and they are both keenly aware of her vulnerability to health complications and the chance of miscarriage the older she gets. Along with fertility checkups, Meghan also visited London-based nutritionist Melanie Brown at Kensington Palace, insiders told the Enquirer. Brown, a specialist in fertility, IFE, and pregnancy, who works out of Duke Street, gave Meghan pointers on preconceptual and pregnancy nutrition including weight loss and gain and immune issues. Harry, 33, also reportedly stepped up, meeting with nutritionist Gabriella Peacock on how we can drop weight and boost fertility. Meghan and Harry's exciting baby news will mark the first time the monarchy has welcomed twins in almost 600 years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's twin joy may have been the help of his genetics. Harry's uncle, his mother Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, has identical twin daughters. The royal's great-grandfather, Edmund Maurice Burke Roach, the fourth Baron Vermoy, was also an identical twin. One insider told the Enquirer, we all know where the genes for twins comes from and it wasn't the house of Windsor on Harry's side. You might romantically say this is Diana's last gift to her youngest son. Will Meghan Markle be a boy? This is the question many recently asked, after the cover of the new issue of Women's Day Australia, which announced that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had decided to take a one-month leave of royal duties. The issue aroused the curiosity of many about the truth of Meghan's pregnancy, her decision to stay away from the royal palace on vacation with her husband, and the image of Prince Charles, the father of Prince Harry holding two bears in blue, raising doubts that Meghan was a boy. However, informed sources pointed out that the image of Prince Charles dates back more than a month, during his trip to Devon, has nothing to do with the pregnancy of Meghan. She and Prince Harry will not be on vacation, especially since they have been in Italy for a while and have been in Oxfordshire, but they have a host of invitations for events to meet. The news comes in parallel with the announcement of the royal couple's trip to Australia in October. The journal's sources attributed the timing of the grip to Meghan being in a slightly advanced stage of pregnancy, accustomed to its symptoms, and therefore travel would be easy.